V. Imperials in lore have failed. Their inner conflicts made it easy for their enemies to break through the front line. Jenith's betrayal has allowed the orcs to destroy the human resistance, and the demons have used this to their own advantage. Now, the Imperials retreat to the Kingdom of Carol, hoping to be able to defeat their great enemy, like dogs with their tails between their legs. The remaining kingdoms have created a new, united army to face the demons under the leadership of King Dorton of Carol. It's said that he isn't fond of the Imperials. This sounds very promising. Your work with that girl was pleasing my servant. Proceed as planned. Thank you, Master. I will. That's close enough. I knew you Imperials would fall in lore. In fact, you've always failed ever since you dared to set foot on our continent. First, you saved us from the demons just to fail at defeating them. Then, you failed at defending our lands and lost the Kingdom of Islamor and let the demons utterly destroy it. And as if that hadn't been enough already, you now lost lore. Let me guess you've come here, because you are in need of shelter so you can fill your empty stomachs with our hard-earned food until even more of your kind arrive, to take control and ruin my beautiful kingdom as well. Watch your tongue, old man. Don't forget you're talking about the very same Imperials that saved you and your kingdom. You are General Garden Bloodclaw, right? One of the few less incompetent Imperials. General Greymore here isn't incompetent as well. He was fighting at my side against the traitor Genethus. There are less incompetent Imperials than you might think. I've heard rumors about you. Apparently some were true. We'll see about the rest. Excuse me for interrupting. King Dorton, but what is that traitor doing here? What? I think she is referring to me. Your Majesty. It has been some time, Solana. Are you still the Queen's personal dog? I should kill you where you stand. You betrayed the Queen and your people. I'll take that as a yes then. You know, I thought you had realized by now that hiding in the forests was wrong. You might have been right, but you should never have left just like that. I have no idea how you managed to trick these humans into allowing a dirty traitor to join them. Enough bitches. Very well. As you say, Garden. What? King Dorton, we are here to assist you and your forces. We have heard that you have gathered a new army, composed of all the remaining kingdom's forces while the demons invaded Lore. Together, we shall be able to defeat them for good. Your words sound honest, Greymore, but so did the words of those who came before you. All have failed so far. Also, I don't think you'll be able to command troops anytime soon. What do you mean? You see, I'm not the only one in this palace who knew that you would come. For the Emperor! What the F? Oh great, just what we needed. First a betrayal, then such a charming, warm welcome, and now the Golden Guard arrives. Perfect! We really need these arrogant bastards now. Oh no, not him. You have the honor to be in the presence of Renald Van Durs, High Lord of the Imperial Court, Lord Inquisitor of the Order of the Righteous Lord Consultant of the Emperor, General of the Golden Guard and new Commander of all Imperial forces on this continent. Greetings, High Lord. What they? Silence. General Blen Greymore, Lady Adele Redfist, Lord Harmos, all of you are charged with the worst crime one could commit, treason. You have collaborated with the traitor Genethus and the demons. Until the investigations are over, all of you will be imprisoned. Nonsense! Grey Moore and his men supported me in my battle against the traitors. Garden, you're in no position to protest. Many of your recent actions have been deemed as questionable as well. 
That's why you will lose most of your privileges. You wouldn't dare. The Emperor himself has granted me access to many resources. Not even you, with all your bootlicking, have enough power to. Watch your words carefully, Bloodclaw. The Emperor himself has ordered me to do this. You have lost his trust. Still, Greymoor has done nothing wrong. Oh, really? General Blen Greymoor could have noticed Jeneth's betrayal a long time ago, just like the rest of you. His behavior should have shown his colors more than enough. Ridiculous. He has. Silence. I will not listen to your meaningless excuses. All of this could have been prevented. It's not sure yet if you're the traitors as well, or just ignorance and I don't care. I'll tolerate neither ignorance nor treason. And don't even get me started on your little demon friend Adele here. I have no idea what you're talking about, Goldhead. You stink of demon magic, girl. Don't try lying to me again. I'm sure I can convince you otherwise. Another move and my men will impale you alive. Even if I actually believed you, Lord Redfist wishes for you to be taken into custody. My father is here? He will arrive eventually. However, let's put this to an end already. General Greymoor, Lord Hamos, Lady Adele by the order of the Emperor, you all are hereby put under arrest for your actions against the Empire and the Emperor. Garden, I wish to talk with you, alone. I cannot believe they have imprisoned me. Those fools will pay for that. You deserve better than that, darling. They won't be able to hold me here forever. I will escape, eventually, and then make them pay. That's what I wanted to hear, but not too fast. We have to discuss some plans first. Chapter 1 The Bootlicker After a long conversation with the High Lord Inquisitor, a grim garden leaves the capital of Carol, along with a few loyal soldiers. His privileges, resources, and forces have been reduced dramatically, making it impossible to regain his strength after the loss of most of his forces in the battle against Jenethas and his treacherous scum. The High Lord Inquisitor, a man who is more arrogant than all other Imperials combined, has a mission for Garden to secure a border. While the demons are sending wave after wave to utterly destroy the neighboring Kingdom of Lore, and to attack the Kingdom of Carol. Van Durst be damned. The Emperor be damned. They want me to win a war and blame me for the betrayal of an old man. To top it off, they take my resources. Forces and power when I need it the most. At least I have you back, Zed. It pained me not to have you with me in lore, but your injuries were too severe. They are terribly wrong if they believe that this will make me give up. I will rebuild the Iron Fist from scratch and remove all demons from Imperial territory. After I've dealt with all the enemies within. I can't believe that we have to endure this damn weather just because those idiots from the kingdoms are too incompetent to defend their own borders. Be glad it's just rain. In the other kingdoms it started to snow just a week ago. I guess it won't be long until it's snowing here as well. Also, of course they would send us, we are the best soldiers of mankind. Damn Golden Guard and their damn arrogance. Is everything all right, Bloodclaw? You haven't been talking much since we left the capital. We have much to do, Melon. We need a new army, new resources, and new allies. The High Lord Inquisitor left us without giving any of it. What about your private treasury? He couldn't have found and emptied it, could he? No, but I have already invested it. The Knights of Combe got it to build a new castle. Once they have rebuilt their order under my command, they will be much more useful. Enough talk. We've got work to do. What is it now, Goldhead? Haven't your superiors taught you not to interrupt the ones in command? The scouts report that Sir Laring Goldheart has arrived in the outpost we're about to support. We have to hurry, 
the High Lord Inquisitor has ordered us to escort Sir Laring back to the capital. Don't worry, you don't need to come back to the capital with us. What? That coward has fought directly under Jenitha's command, and we are to save him while we're being left in the dirt. You are ordered to save him. The reasons and your personal grudges are irrelevant. We, the Golden Guard, will ensure you'll fulfill your orders. Watch out. The way is dangerous. Something could happen on the road. As you order. At last. Feel my wrath. My patience has ended. Let family join. As you wish. Let These orcs belong to the clan that defeated General Cleave Hand. Typical. Orcs are everywhere since the soldiers of Carol failed to defend their borders. Kill them all already, you idiots. At last. Let
My patience has ended. Let battle be joined. Looks Ashmore. like we'll have to go through a Murloc village. I hate these fishmen. They appear to be more better armed and more organized than usual. We should investigate this. Now I see why the Murlocs were prepared for war when we arrived. This tribe has allied with the Orcs. I suggest finding and killing the leader of the Green Skin Pack before he can convince even more fishmen to join the Orcs. Is my aid required? 
for the Lich King. Say the word. You call. As you at your call. Literally based in that way. You need at last. Say the word. Yes, my My patience has ended. On my way! <laughs> my vengeance is yours. Humans have found their way to us. Come then, my warriors and allies. Let's fight for the war chief. I will crush you and your pathetic little resistance, green skin. My patience has ended. Let me face the peril. Our forces are under attack. Yes. Finally, we left that damn village. I hate murlocs. Rooting them out is always such a mess. But it's necessary, of course, since they endanger ships. Not that we'd have to worry about ships in this damn place.
We have to move some of our western forces to the eastern defense. The demons have damaged our fortifications there, and will send all their forces to use this advantage. First, you're not in command and I won't be taking advice from a fool who followed a traitor. Second, the scouts report that a huge army is on its way to the eastern flank. Third, ever since you arrived all your improvements have made it more difficult for us to actually hold our position. Even though we were in no condition to do so and told to wait for reinforcements which we needed, by the way, you took half of our forces to attack the demon forces. And we destroyed three demon gates. Yeah, but you lost every soldier you took with you. We have guests. Ah, General Greymore, I take it that you're here to take over? I have to go to the capital to gather my own forces. These royals here won't take any orders from me. General Bloodclaw, yes. We've already been informed that you'd be on your way to support us here. King Dorton has put this garrison under your command. We're at your disposal. Leric, you're the most incompetent and useless general of the Empire. Without your connections, a coward such as you would never have become a general. You're not worth being saved. What? What do you mean? I don't like your tone, Bloodclaw. I mean, it's time for you to die! Zed will have your corpse. <clears throat> you wouldn't dare keep that animal away from me. There are more than enough soldiers around that would tell of what you're doing now. Merlon, do something. Pa, why should I? You killed most of my men, and you've never been a good tactician anyway, if asked. I'd say the demons killed you. Sir Lering has been killed by the demons. None of my men would claim anything else. I knew you couldn't be trusted, Bloodclaw. You're scum. You will ruin the Empire with your corrupt teachings. I've been waiting for this moment ever since you dared to attack my forces. No. That was for all the Imperials who died at the front, because you retreated like a coward. Now is all yours, my dear Zed. Enjoy your meal. Good boy.